Hello guys, welcome to the Not Just Talent Sports blog. With me playing easily at the weekend, I'm going to go through all the things that I take for the away trip. It's a five hour trip down there, so I'm going to need the best preparation possible. To start with, I'm going to look at supplements. The two supplements that I'm taking at the moment are a vitamin D3 and an omega-3. Um, the reason I take a vitamin D3 is because it's good for the bones and health, it supports the immune system, and it also supports the cardiovascular system. I take one a day, and it's informed for sport, so I'm safe to take it. I tend to take it with breakfast with food, because that's safer to take. With the Omega-3s, I take, it's well, it's from the Amino Man. You might not have heard of that before, and look it up online, but it's a high-strength pharmaceutical grade fish oil. It's the best on the market. But with Omega-3s, they're good fats, they promote brain health, they can reduce inflammation, and they also reduce joint pain. I also take one of these a day with breakfast. Next, I'm going to go on to the caffeine drink. Now, with the Game Ready Caffeine Drink, it's from PAS. It's also informed sport. But with me not being a caffeine drinker, I tend to just use this on match days because it's high strength caffeine. It can, well, it can heighten alertness. With me, I feel it gives me an aerobic benefit. I feel like I can run further, run harder. And I feel like it's good. It's an orange flavour. I just put a little bit with, with water um, about an hour before the game. Sometimes I may take this at half time as well, just to give me that extra boost if needed. Next, well, there's my standard drinks bowl. It holds a litre of water and I often don't go anywhere without this. I'll always take this with me to keep hydrated. So fill this up with, with a litre of water and just you know keep sipping on water all the way you know, along the journey down to Weasley. Food wise, now my diet is very important to me as you might have read on you know, previous blogs that I've done. Um, this was last night's dinner, which is a pasta dish. There's all sorts of goodness in this. There's tuna, sweet corn, beetroot, onion, spinach, you know, lots of goodness. So I'll take this on the coach with me. I mean, there's a microwave, I can heat it up, or I can also eat it cold, but it's just an excellent snack, you know, to keep me going. I mean, you know, the option is there to stop at the services and get the fast food, but I tend to, you know, do this so I know that I'm getting in the right, the right, you know, foods. The other snack that I take with me, I mean, this is a rare occasion, but my partner Lisa has made me these egg muffins, which have got vegetables in, tomatoes, peas, you know, an egg, and it's just another healthy snack. You know, instead of eating chocolate bars and sweets, which I know many lads do, you know, I go for these, they're very filling, they're very good, and they're quick to make. The other snack is the Gorgi Protein Balls. I have a pack of these every day, they're really good. They cost about a pound, they're from Lidl, they're great, they're a snack on the go, they're better than a bag of crisps, they're vegan, there's no rubbish in them, they're just a great snack. And, you know, if you're looking to get some extra protein on board, Highly recommend those. What else have we got here? A pair of skins. A lot of you guys might have heard of these before. With these, it's the marginal gains. I mean, I'm not a massive wearer of these. I'll tend to wear them on the long journeys only. They're kind of good for you know reducing lactic acid and just making you feel a bit less leggy before the game. They're also good for wearing after the game. You know, you bang them straight in after the game, long coach journey. You know, they're, a, they're a good you know, compression type to wear, so they're another you know, recommendation. The socks. Now, I love these socks. I've only been wearing them a couple of years now, but they're fantastic. You've probably heard of them. They're the Grip Socks. Different companies do them. True Socks, Premier Socks. These are from G48, you know, which do fantastic socks. Um, you can get them in all sorts of different colours, depending on what socks you're wearing. I particularly have got the black ones out because on Saturday I'll be wearing my black socks. They're great, they stop blisters for starters, you will never get blisters wearing these. I also feel a lot sharper wearing these, I wear them under my main sock, so they just feel really comfy in my boot, I feel like I can change direction quick, and I, you know, I won't play a game in, without these now, the, the, the really good socks, highly recommended. You're looking about £20 a pair for a pair of these, but they are really good. 
This is the Nike Under Armour that I tend to. I'll only wear that if it's really cold, basically. There's nothing special to it. If it's just really cold and I need something under, on under on that shirt, I'll stick it on. And it's a great you know, accessory to have on a cold winter's day in Eastleigh. In terms of around, in and around the hotel, I'll always take a pair of swim shorts with me. I mean, these are just plain Chesterfield shorts that I can go in the pool with, just in case there's a pool at the hotel. And I feel like, you know, sometimes I swim the night before a game, you know, you feel good and it helps you sleep. So that's the reason I will, you know, take these. I'll always take my running shoes with me. If I'm not starting, I tend to go in the gym the night before, maybe just do a little bit extra. But if I'm starting, I might just go in and do a stretch or a foam roll. They're just good to have. And I'll always stick them in my kit bag. What else have we got? In terms of other equipment, I'll my boots and my shin pads will go with the kit man. They'll all go in a big skip, which will get taken to the ground for me. So there's no danger of forgetting my boots or my shin pads. Other things that I might take with me. I'll always take my watch, which monitors my heart rate steps that I'm doing per day and calories it's just 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 you know and basically to tell the time I mean it's just nice to to know what your resting heart rate is and your you know your working heart rate is this is a Fitbit watch pretty basic really there are better ones on the market but it's just it's just a nice easy watch I think that's about it really from you know what I take for a way trip so I hope taking something out of it and I encourage you guys to give any of these products a go and you know, get your diet right, like I've shown there, get your equipment right, because like I said before, if you prepare right, no excuses then. Hello guys, welcome to Eastleigh. It's took us three and a half hours to get down here this afternoon on the coach, but we're all down here now ready to prepare for our big game tomorrow. We've had our dinner and now it's just about relaxing in the hotel. Now in the hotel environment there's a few different things you can do. Some lads may go for a swim, some lads may go in the gym for a stretch, those other lads might go for a walk, for a coffee, or even just play cards in the hotel with some of the other players, which I know some of our lads like to do. For me, I just like to relax in the room. I've had an early start this morning, I've had trained, and now I'm just about preparing myself mentally and physically for the big game tomorrow. I'm looking for that marginal gain, and one of those is wearing these recovery pumps. Now these... They're about £600 a pair. The club provide them. I think most clubs will provide at least one pair of these. And they just compress the legs. They'll pump air into these big legs here, which make the blood flow through the legs better. They'll help recovery. They can reduce inflammation. And they'll also get oxygen into your legs. I think they're fantastic, and I think they're a great you know, accessory to have within a club. I'm using them tonight because we've had a hard session and I'm just sort of looking how do I get my legs nice and fresh for tomorrow's game. There is different times you can use on this. I'm using at the moment the 45 minute cycle. You can use 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45, 60 or 100 minutes. And that all depends on what, how you like your feeling with it. I mean, if we've had a, like tomorrow after the game, I'll probably pump these right up to 100 minutes and just sit on the coach, relax and help recover my legs. There's different powers as well. You can have it on 100 decimals all the way down to 10 decimals. So there's 10, 20, 30, 40, up in tens like that. At the moment, I've got it on 50. So it's not too powerful because I don't want my legs to feel too pressured with it being a big game tomorrow. But like I said, it's all about the marginal gains and finding that edge. So hopefully when I wake up tomorrow, I'm feeling as fresh as I can and I'm ready to go. Morning guys, it's 7.30am on the morning of the game. I've had a good 8-9 hours sleep last night, so I'm feeling fresh and recovered and ready for the game ahead. Now it's breakfast time. So for breakfast, it's optional in the hotel. Some of the lads will still be in bed now. Not all lads like to come down and have breakfast. But my diet's very important to me, as you've heard before. So I like to come down and get a good breakfast down with. For me, I'm just gonna have some porridge to start with. 
just some good carbs, not massive ball like I'd have at home before training, but just a nice small ball, a little bit of energy, along with some fresh fruits, which I've chosen some melon this morning, just to get some goodness inside me, as well as a little bit of scrambled egg on toast with a little hash brown as a treat alongside it. I'll also have plenty of water in the morning to keep hydrated, especially after a good night's sleep. You need to get hydrated, ready for the day ahead. After I've eaten this, I will go back up to the room and have a little rest. I'll maybe speak to the family on the phone just to see how they're doing. And then try and have a little snooze before we'll meet down here at 11am for a walk as a team. Now this is just to get their legs going. We've been in a hotel for a couple of days now, so it's just to get the legs going, have a chat, get some fresh air ready for the big game ahead. From then on, we will go straight into our pre-match meal, which will be 11.45. There's a mixture of things on the pre-match meal menu. There's chicken, pasta, beans, uh, scrambled eggs, there's porridge again, there's cereals. There's a bit of fish if you like that. I mean, there's a lot of different things and all the lads have their different sort of go-to meals before a game. I'll probably just have a little bit of scrambled egg on toast or maybe just some maybe a bit of chicken and pasta, depending on how I'm feeling really. I'm not too overly you know, set on what I have in the pre-match meal, it's just how I'm feeling really, but the key for me is not to eat too much, so I'm not feeling too full before the game. From then onwards we'll go back up to the room, we'll pack up our stuff, and we'll get ready to come down to a meeting at 1pm, 1 1 PM, which the gaffer has called. This will, you know, just to fine tune any last minute tactics, team selections, anything he wants to do and just a little maybe a bit of a more motivational thing. And from then on we'll board the coach and we'll head to Eastley ready for the big game ahead and hopefully come back with the three points that we vitally need. Hello guys, I've just boarded the team coach, it's 1.15pm, I'm waiting for my teammates to join me. We've had our pre-match food, we've had our motivational speech from the manager and he went through a final few points ready for the game this afternoon. So now it's just a case of sitting back, relaxing, I'll listen to a bit of music and get myself mentally prepared for the match ahead. So hopefully the next time you see me I'll be happy with three points in the bag. So we've now made it to the warm up, I've now got my energy drink, it's just about the final preparations now, getting the body ready, getting the mind ready, ready to go to battle. guys, it's 11.40pm and I've finally arrived home. As you can see I've finally just laid on my bed. I'm absolutely shattered after the long journey back and the match we had today. But it's all been worth it. It's, we got a fantastic 2-0 result and I managed to grab a vital second goal. So the long journey was much easier. The boys are in great spirits on the way back. And we can all now focus on the next game. Since the match ended at 5pm... You start thinking straight away about recovery. Well, I do personally. How can I get, especially at 33 years old, how can I get myself in the best possible condition, ready to go on Monday? From 5 o'clock till 6 o'clock, you've got to get the food in as quick as possible. And that's what I did. I had some meatballs and some pasta. Got that straight down me, along with lots of water to rehydrate because you are very very dehydrated after a 90 minute match. Just relaxed on the coach, listened to some music, enjoyed the win with my teammates. And then we arrived back at Chesterfield, got in the car, and then we drove back home from there. Tomorrow will be another recovery day really. Try and get a good sleep tonight. Sometimes it's not easy after a game because you're quite hyped up. It's like having a long shift at work really, you don't want to be going straight to sleep. 
you feel like you need a little bit of downtime. But I try and get as much sleep as possible because that's very important to me. I'll spend some time with my family. Try and take my mind off football a little bit. Sunday's a bit of a down day, really. Just totally let the body relax, especially after the tough 90 minutes that we had. Then Monday, hopefully, I'll be ready to go again to start again for the week leading up to the foul game on Saturday. Like I said earlier, it's been a great day, you know, to score the vitally important second goal to help the team. You know, it felt good to contribute and hopefully there's a few more of those wins to come. It's been about 40 to 50 hours since I started this blog. And I started it to show that although football, you do need talent, you do need that bit of magic, you know, what I've shown today with the goal. But you also need a lot of hard work. You know, the preparation that I've shown hopefully gives you an insight into what you need to be as a professional footballer. You know, I, I've gone through all the processes that, you know, I've gone through to get to that point, to get the result that we need. And then it all starts again on Monday. You know, we don't just turn up on the pitch on a Saturday and hope for the best. You know, it's all about preparation. And that's why, you know, I feel like I've played so many games in my career and hopefully there's quite a few more to come. But I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you found it interesting. And it just proves that it's more than just talent needed to become a professional footballer. Thanks for your time.